Hi darlings, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today for a beauty video. It has been a little while since I last did a beauty video here on my channel, but I've been having quite a few requests for things like um, a skincare update and an everyday makeup look, things like that. And to be honest, I feel like I mostly cover those types of things in my vlogs. So if you do want that kind of information, then definitely keep an eye on my vlogs because I often do mini hair tutorials or show you my morning skincare routine, evening skincare routine, things like that within my vlogs. It doesn't change that much, which is why I don't tend to do um, new skincare routine type videos. For today's video, as you might be able to tell by this pile of rubbish next to me, I'm gonna be sharing with you the beauty products that I have used up. And this is quite a random video to be doing, but I actually find these videos really interesting, especially when it is from a blogger or YouTuber that I follow, because I always think that the products that you've used up, that is a true testament that the YouTuber or the person that I'm watching really really loves those products and uses them pretty much on a daily basis. As you may know, with this job, we are so, so fortunate to be sent really amazing products from many of our favourite brands. We get sent new launches, and because we have so many products coming in, it often makes it quite hard to finish a product because I get so excited to try something new that I don't end up finishing what is currently on my shelves. However, if I truly love something and I can't live without it, then yes, of course, I will use it until it is totally finished which pretty much sums up the products in here um, the bag that they are in is this jute tote bag backpack type thing that I actually got at the L'Occitan Christmas event last year and the reason why it's in this is because every time I fill this bag up I will take it to a L'Occitan store and for me that'll be the big L'Occitan flagship on Regent Street because they've partnered with TerraCycle and TerraCycle can recycle all of these products so of course one huge flaw with the beauty industry is the packaging it's absolutely insane how much packaging things come in and more often than not they are plastic bottles the pumps are plastic they have different components some plastics metals which makes them so hard to recycle but TerraCycle is an amazing company that actually breaks down the products and recycles as much of the product as possible so these I will have to just rinse out before I take them to the L'Occitane store and that way they won't end up in landfill I'm gonna leave some information about TerraCycle down below about the L'Occitane initiative and where possible throughout the rest of this video I'll mention other ways that you can recycle your products as well because if like me you get through a lot of beauty products you definitely don't want this amount of plastic to be going into the bin because local councils I don't know about you but my local council is pretty rubbish at recycling plastic especially when it has different components like I can see here this has got a few different types of plastic it's got metal in there local councils will just take that straight to landfill so definitely look into some different options when you are disposing of your beauty products I've got some additional products on my lap as well because not everything would fit into my L'Occitane bag and I'm not going to do these in any particular order however the first collection of products that I found to show you are actually hair related and let's start off with a couple of hair products that are totally empty so first of all I get so many questions on how I keep my blonde hair from going a little bit brassy how I get this almost silvery shade to my hair and I always recommend people try this range this is the Red Can Color Extend Blondage range this for me gives the most impact when it comes to actually changing the colour of my hair at home. It's a really deep purple shampoo and conditioner set. There's also a range of this which is specifically for silver hair. This is the conditioner bottle but I'm sure I'll find a shampoo bottle in there as well because I probably go through a bottle of the shampoo once every month. If you want to really tone your hair, I would highly recommend this range and what I would recommend doing is actually leaving the shampoo, the purple shampoo, in your hair for a good two or three minutes. I like to leave it in my hair while I'm exfoliating or epilating my legs and that way the colour really penetrates your hair and neutralises any brassy tones. There are of course loads of different purple shampoos and conditioners out there but the reason why I love this range is because it's actually really caring for my hair as well. It says toning and strengthening system for blondes. A lot of the time toners will really strip your hair, leave it feeling dry and damaged whereas this range is very caring for your hair as well so big fan of this and no surprise that that is in my empties. Alongside that I've also got the Purology Serious Colour Care Strength Cure Best Blonde Miracle Filler Treatment. If you've watched any of my empties or favourites videos before you might remember um, that I featured something that 
that looks like this but in a yellow packaging that was called the perfect for platinum miracle filler i believe it's pretty much the same product i'm not sure if they reformulated but they definitely rebranded it as best blonde instead of perfect for platinum this is a super incredible multi-functional hairspray that i use when my hair is wet straight after the shower this has so many different benefits i'll read you what it says on the back because it's the best way of summing it up it says the miracle filler fills in gaps in fragile porous hair leaving high lifted or highlighted blondes soft and shiny again featuring the exclusive anti-fade complex 100% vegan ingredients no ingredients of animal origin apply to damp hair daily so I find that this is great at detangling my hair it leaves my hair in really good condition considering I use heat on my hair nearly every single day whether it's with my Dyson air wrap or whether it's with a blow dryer or straighteners things like that I do use heat on my hair most days and of course it is very colored so you'd expect my hair to be quite dry and damaged but I truly think it's thanks to this that my hair is not damaged so it makes blow drying a lot quicker it means that I can brush my hair a lot more easily um, it prevents my color from fading there are just so many reasons why I love this and I believe it also has heat protection in there as well stops flyaway hairs it has so many benefits if you have blonde hair that's a little bit dry needs a little bit of love then try this I've been using this every single time I wash my hair for the past I'd say three years and I think it's the kind of product that I will use for the rest of my life Next is Batiste. I'm a big fan of dry shampoo. I think for blondes, dry shampoo is really good at getting you through those times when maybe you need to have your hair coloured. If you're going a little bit dark around the roots, like I am at the moment, then it's great for just adding a little bit of light colour to your roots. So it makes that difference in colour between your natural and your coloured hair a little bit less obvious. But the main reason, of course, is to freshen your hair when perhaps you are overdue a shampoo. In an ideal world, I think I would wash my hair every other day, but sometimes I just don't have time. I've tried so many different dry shampoos but I always find myself going back to Batiste. It's affordable, it works really well. I don't find it like clogs up my hair either and this is the pretty and delicate rose gold one which has got to be my favourite although I'm not really that fussy. I find them all pretty much as good as each other. You'll probably see a lot of these in this video as well but I do often have a Batiste dry shampoo in my handbag. This is just a little mini size which is so handy especially if I'm going for an overnight stay somewhere. This is the floral and flare blush version. I think I probably just chose it because it was pink. And another reason why I love their dry shampoos is that they're actually really great for adding volume and texture. So if, like today, I've only just washed my hair, it might go a little bit flat or it might just be a little bit too silky to style. This often adds really good texture and I find it far better than those very expensive volumizing sprays you can get as well. Annoyingly, it sounds like there's a little bit left in here. Oh! There is some left, okay, that's going back in my handbag. <laughs> All right, something else which my longtime viewers will not be surprised to see is a few Lizelle cleanser and polishes. This is my favorite cleanser and it has been for many years. I use this pretty much every day unless I'm trialing out something else. There are a few other cleansers which I absolutely love but this is always part of my routine. This one is the Sweet Orange and Clove Cleanse and Polish and this one is actually just the box for the Cocoa Butter, Rosemary and Calomel Cleanse and Polish because I've actually just started this one. But still, I'm pretty sure TerraCycle will be able to recycle this outer packaging as well. This was a limited edition winter one from Lizelle. The Cleanse and Polish formula itself never changes but they do have limited edition uh, different fragrances which are always so, so lovely. This one was particularly nice to use over Christmas, Sweet Orange and Clove. And I've spoken many times about why I love this but I I feel like it just keeps my skin happy. I don't have fluctuating skin. I don't have really bad skin days. I don't have a week when my skin is dry or unhappy. I find that this just keeps my skin happy all the time. I always have a really nice subtle glow to my skin. And I'd say that this really is the basis of my full skincare routine. It's a really lovely cream. It melts away makeup as well as melting away any oils and pollution from your skin. What I will normally do is use a micellar water first to get rid of the makeup so that my skin can really enjoy the lovely ingredients within this as it cleanses my skin. Next up we have a couple of makeup products. So this first one here is a little Chantecaille lipstick and I'll show you what it currently looks like. You can see I've got all the way to the bottom and I've even started to dig some of the lipstick out of the tube. That's how desperate I was to get a little bit more out of this. I need to make sure I make a note of it before I recycle it so that I can definitely get a new one. This is their Lipstick Rouge à Lève in the shade Mirage and it is the most beautiful brownie pink, super balmy. I'd say it's almost as much of a balm as it is a lipstick so it's really nourishing on the lips, so comfortable to wear. 
literally the perfect colour. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it really is my perfect shade. And for a balm, it actually does give a really beautiful colour payoff. It's not just like a wash of tint, it really is a colour. And for me, it's an absolute handbag essential. I don't need a mirror to apply this, and as I said, so comfortable, and it always looks absolutely fabulous. So I need to add this to my shopping list because I definitely need another one of those. And then we have the Terracotta Cushion Foundation from Galan. And Galan also have a really good recycling initiative where you can take a compact, and it doesn't even need to be a Galan compact, it can be from NARS, Becca, um, Rimmel, any brand at all. Take it in to Galan counters in department stores. I'll leave all the information about which department stores are down below. And then for every compact that you take in, you then get money off your next Galan compact purchase. So it's a really nice way of putting money from your old products towards getting a new product. So this was the cushion foundation. It has a mirror in the lid and then it did have a sponge which I lost quite early on. You'd press this down and the terracotta foundation would come out. One of my favourite foundations of all time gives the skin a really lovely glow. I always found it was so easy to blend which made it great for having in my handbag. I have the shade Natural. It is SPF 20. It says a fresh bronzing fluid makeup for a buildable sun-kissed glow. And again this is definitely something that I will be repurchasing because I absolutely love having a cushion foundation in my handbag. Okay so moving on to the products in the big L'Occitane bag now. This was a Soap and Glory um, shower gel. Can't remember the exact name of the shower gel. I think this actually had a sticker on it that had my face on it which was a really cool gift from Soap and Glory. This is a shower gel that I absolutely love. I find it really moisturising to the body so especially during these cold winter months it's great because it doesn't dry out the skin. If you are fake tanning, then of course you want to keep your body moisturised. It smells good, it lathers but not too much, and it is a really nice affordable brand. So again, that's most certainly something that I will be repurchasing. Next is an empty pot of Bramley bath salts. This is what the pot looks like. Bramley is a brand that I always think you find in lovely hotels. I think I first discovered it at the artist residence, and since then I've just fallen in love with their products. They smell absolutely heavenly, which is why I think their bath salts are probably my favourite bath salts. These are the Lavender Flowers Geranium and Spearmint. I have to admit I get very carried away with bath salts and probably put in far too many. This honestly would only have lasted me about four or five baths, which I know is very, very excessive. These products contain 100% natural botanicals, nothing artificial, nothing tested on animals. They use the finest essential oils, add a handful to a warm bath, stir and dissolve the salts to enjoy a fragrant steam bath. I'd definitely add more than a handful. Um, I think I do have some other bath salts in the bathroom at the moment, but when those run out, this will be the one which I choose to repurchase. Speaking of baths, my next empty is from Elemis, and it is their Aching Muscle Super Soak. Especially at this time of year, I do go quite hard in the gym. We have a personal trainer two or three times a week, and often with a personal trainer, what's so great about them is that they really target muscles that you don't normally use, and it's very different to a workout in the gym because you're using muscles that sometimes you didn't even know you had which does often cause a lot of aching so I do love a nice hot bath in the evenings and this really does just ease my muscles and, I, and it makes such a big difference because if I didn't have a bath with a muscle soak then I would barely be able to walk the next day so this is really really good at relaxing the muscles as well as being a lovely fragrance and all around relaxing experience. We have a serum in here from Liz Earl. This is the Super Skin Face Serum. Visibly lifts, firms and evens skin tone. Another longtime favourite of mine. The Liz Earl Super Skin range is a real favourite of mine. It's not overly expensive but again I find it just works and it just ensures same with the cleanse and polish it just means that my skin is really regular I don't have those random down days it just makes my skin a lot more reliable and just always happy so again that's something that I love to use as part of my Lizelle um, skincare routine. Cordially is another brand that I absolutely love their grape ingredients are so kind and gentle to the skin and also really effective this is their clear skin purifying toner I am also using the Vino Pure cleanse from this range as well but this toner is really great if you do have any areas of the skin that are a little bit upset if you do have a blemishy area for example sometimes I get quite a lot of kind of hormonal spots around the chin and jawline and this is really good at just calming those and preventing any more from appearing it's got a purifying essential oils complex exfoliating a 
hyaluronic acid and soothing grape water. So not only is it purifying the skin but also soothing it afterwards. Some toners can be quite strong and aggravate the skin a little bit whereas thanks to the grape ingredients in this that Quarterly is so known and loved for it also helps to soothe the skin afterwards. So I will also be repurchasing this. It was a real favourite of mine when it came to toners recently. We have got a deep conditioning hair mask here from a brand called Coco and Eve. It's their Like a Virgin Super Nourishing Co Coconuts and Fig Hair Mask. Looks like this. Again, this brand is 100% vegan, not tested on animals. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've literally completely polished out this hair mask. Again, like the bath salts, I am pretty generous when it comes to applying hair masks on because, as I said, coloured hair that is frequently exposed to heat from my appliances. I do like to pamper my hair in the showers and like I said with my Red Ken Colour Blondage, I'll leave that in for a good three to five minutes while I'm exfoliating and epilating. I will also leave this in for, I'd say, five to ten minutes. Sometimes I'll get out the shower and put a face mask on in that time. Sometimes it'll be while I'm epilating or doing god knows what in the shower, but I do like to leave this on my hair for quite a long time. What I will do is take a really good scoopful, put it from put it on the ends of my hair from about there down, then I'll do my epilating and then I will put my hair on my head, I'll massage it in all over brush it through using a wet brush and then I'll leave it for another couple of minutes as well so that my roots do get some of the goodness. This always leaves my hair silky soft, really easy to comb through. As I said, smells amazing and really lovely ingredients in there as well. Another hair mask is the Kerastase Resistance Mask Extensionist. Looks like this one in the bright turquoise packaging. I think this one is particularly good if you're trying it to grow your hair. So again, super nourishing to the ends. To be honest, I finished this one up quite a while ago and I don't hugely remember what difference it made to my hair, but the fact that I finished it means it must have been a really good one. Another hair mask, I really do get through these quite a lot. I would say I use a hair mask every other time I wash my hair. So most people would probably use a hair mask as a hair treat once every week, but I probably use it two or three times a week. This is the Source Essential Sesame Oil Nourishing Balm. I was really impressed with this launch, much more natural for L'Oreal. Again, it is a vegan range for the hair. I was really impressed with this launch from L'Oreal. 99% naturally derived ingredients, free from silicone for a natural hair feel. This smells absolutely incredible. I love the whole Source Essential range, so effective and just, I think, amazing for L'Oreal to be leading the way when it comes to natural ingredients. And hopefully they will expand on this range and do more research into how more natural ingredients can be so good for our hair. Just looking at the ingredients on here, it's got sesame seed oil, um, which is a nourishing oil sourced from sesame seeds, sunflower seed oil, again a nourishing oil, candelilia wax, which is a softening ingredient from candelilia, and the colorant in here is actually from caramel, which is what gives it this lovely kind of caramelly color. So yeah, big fan of that one. The next empty is the La Mer The Face and Body Gradual Tan. This is a product that I absolutely love using during the colder months. Personally, when it comes to tanning, I have quite a few tanning favourites. I'm sure there will be more of them inside this empties bag, but the reason I love Gradual Tan is that it just keeps your level of tan really consistent. At this time of year, you often aren't getting too many of your too many areas of your body exposed but it is nice to not be super pasty more just for how I feel than for how I look because <laughs> because I don't have much skin exposed but I feel better when I have got a nice tan and a gradual tan like this just keeps it super consistent and this one is just really nourishing so again great at this time of year it doesn't have an awful smell to it which is very important and it gives such a natural tan for me looking like I've got fake tan on completely defeats the point where whereas this this is such a lovely natural colour and it is suitable for the face and the body. I like to keep my face bronzed as well. I have a few different favourites for the face but when I'm applying this to my body I'll always just finish by patting the leftover on my hands on my face before of course washing my hands. But yeah, this is from La Mer so of course it is very premium when it comes to the price tags. There are much more affordable fake tans that I love as well, but I do absolutely love this and if, and if you do have the budget for it then I would highly recommend this one. Okay, next up we have the Smoothie Wash Splash of Berry Body Scrub from Victoria's Secret. This actually came in a goodie bag. It says all over cleansing and gentle smoothing with the perfect touch of scent. Personally, I would say I prefer products that are from actual beauty brands as opposed to an underwear brand's attempt at doing a body product. I did enjoy using 
using this, but I would say it wasn't overly exfoliating. I did enjoy the smell, but I'm not sure how natural it was. I probably won't be repurchasing this, but I did enjoy using it. Here we go, we have the Red Can Colour Blondage Shampoo. I've already spoken about this. You don't have to use the shampoo and conditioner in unison, and I would say if you're to buy one product from the range, I would make it the shampoo. Um, but yeah, no surprises to see this in my empties. <laughs> this is a random one. Okay, I've got the Jones's Bootmaker Traditional Suede Protector. I actually, I don't know why this is in here, but I guess it can be recycled in the same way as a beauty product. It's kind of similar packaging to my Batiste, but this is basically a leather and suede protectant spray that I use for my boots. I have been asked quite a lot recently what suede spray I use on my boots. To be honest, I find them all pretty much as good as each other. This is a great one. Um, I will leave some others linked down below. There are a few on Amazon which I find really effective. Next up we have a limited edition Deliciously Ella body lotion from Neil's Yard Remedies. This is the Rose Lime and Cucumber. I think I pretty much used this up over the late summer months and it's a really light refreshing scent for summer. So many reasons why I love Neil's Yard. Their products are all organic. I actually visited their kind of factory down in Dorset which is a really lovely experience. So nice to see how the products are made. Um, it's also vegan. It's free from synthetic colours, animal testing. It's natural, ethical, um, free from parabens etc etc. So you're not putting anything nasty on your skin. <laughs> Another brand that you can trust not to have anything nasty inside again is Lizelle. This is their Cleanse and Polish Body which gives very similar results to the body as the Cleanse and Polish does to the face. Obviously it's not the exact same formula. I think they spent around eight years reformulating the Cleanse and Polish so that it could be suitable for the body. Within this you've got sunflower seed extract, apricot kernels and rice bran oils but if you use it with the Liz Earl Mitt then it really gently exfoliates the body and it also keeps the body really nicely moisturised as well. This is a really great product to use if you are fake tanning because it, because it ensures your skin is regularly hydrated so your tan looks so much better for longer. Okay, next we've got the Kerastars Bane Extensionist Resistance Shampooing length strengthening shampoo so this product is designed especially for long hair caring for the lengths it is the matching shampoo to the turquoise mask i shared with you earlier i would often use this as the shampoo before using the red can blondage um purple shampoo because i find that this would cleanse the hair really thoroughly and then the red can would do the toning uh origins well off fast and gentle eye makeup remover does what it says on the tin this is a really lovely specific makeup remover for the eyes and the lips so if i did wear anything a little bit more tough than my usual mascara such as if I had a waterproof mascara or a liquid lipstick that sometimes my cleanse and polish wouldn't totally get rid of then I just pop a little of this on a cotton pad my reusable cotton pads um, and that would always do the trick with getting rid of any stubborn makeup then we have a micellar water this is the Kiehl's herbal infused micellar cleansing water this is 99.8% naturally derived ingredients so again really lovely and gentle to the skin I try to cut out chemicals where possible so where I have a choice I will more often than not go for the more natural alternative and this was a really lovely one from Kiehl's very effective very gentle smelt really nice um, and because it has got micellar technology really really effective at getting rid of makeup and dirt from the skin so again this is certainly one that I will be repurchasing next we've got an empty soothing body polish sweet lullaby from a brand called Lola's apothecary this is a hundred percent natural ingredients obviously cruelty free and handmade in Britain so a really lovely brand to support this was one of the best body polishes I think I have ever tried because it was so grainy. I love it when a body polish you can really like get in there and do your elbows do your knees and you are totally buffed within an inch of your life after using it but it's not painful or scratchy just a really really lovely body polish i often find that natural products smell amazing as well and this certainly did it contained pink himalayan crystal salt raw cane sugar in a souffle of whipped shea butter coconut butter and rosehip co2 for gorgeously smooth skin that just sums it up how glorious this was to use it says it's a perfect companion treatment to waxing as it helps prevent ingrown hair as the skin texture becomes finer. So even suitable for sensitive areas of skin, really good as a pre-waxing treatment and also great pre-fig tanning. <laughs> we have a giant bottle in here of Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt. This again was one that we would use when having a bath after a tough workout, relaxes the body and mind, nourishes your skin and long-lasting bubbles to gently cleanse. I think it was mostly Charlie that used this one but it also has spearmint and eucalyptus in 
there which was really great if you're slightly blocked in the sinuses so if you do have a bit of a cold this is a really great one at just clearing the airways as well I've also got the packaging in here for the Elemis soothing candle the calm candle from Elemis a really lovely candle to have on your bedside table nice to just chill you out before bed this candle is about to be totally burnt out as well but I'm not sure if I can recycle candle jars in the same way so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research for that another um, bath salts jar this is the cleansing and relaxing lavender bath salts from Neil's Yard Remedies Neil's Yard products are all recyclable these lovely glass jars you could even recycle this in the home you could keep cotton pads in it or your makeup brushes these bath salts I would say were my favorite ones when I was having a bath before bed if I'd had a stressful day then these ones would be the ones that would chill me out the most and again the most amazing scent next I have a couple of empty very luxurious body lotions first of all the Victor and Rolf flower bomb body lotion if you are a huge fan of the flower bomb scent like I am then this is pretty much a body lotion with the exact same fragrance in a very luxurious not even a hectagonal I don't know what kind of shape you would describe that as but a really lovely big jar leaves the body smelling beautifully flower bomby for many hours after you apply it and then we also have the La Mer the body cream this was a huge tub of body cream I only finished this a couple of days ago keeps the skin moisturized for so long a little goes a very long way with this so despite the very high price tag I found that I was getting a lot of use out of this and it lasted me so so long I think this has lasted me since the summer so a good four or five months of using this every other day because you don't need much at all it is so moisturizing and spreads across the skin so well so a big fan of both of these body lotions oh we're getting to the end we have got another tanning product I'm not surprised to see this in here it is my Vita Liberata phenomenal two to three week tan this is what I will use if I really do want to be super bronzed whether that's before a holiday when my friends are going on holiday I always recommend this to them because it does does last such a long time and it always fades so evenly as long as you apply the correct post tanning practices I've got a whole video on that so I'll leave that link down below Vita Liberata as well is also organic so it's great for the skin you're not putting loads of nasty ingredients on there but the tan is not compromised at all it's still a lovely natural tan long-lasting doesn't smell so so many reasons why I love this randomly I have a sweaty Betty um, water bottle in here but it's because it got discolored at the top and a little bit chewed I didn't want to just throw it away because it is plastic so I'm hoping that TerraCycle will be able to recycle this as well. Another one of Charlie's products in here we've got the Clarins Men Anti-Fatigue Eye Serum. He uses this pretty much every single morning and swears by it. He is constantly repurchasing this. This is the Kiehl's Cactus Flower and Tibetan Ginseng Hydrating Mist. I love using this in summer. So refreshing and great for just bringing a bit more glow and life to your skin during those super hot days. So I absolutely loved using this. And then the last two products products in this bag we have got Aveda damage remedy restructuring conditioner this was great in summer when my hair was a little bit frazzled from going to the beach being in the ocean things like this Aveda is a hair care brand that I do absolutely love I find their products really effective a lot of them are plant-based as well cruelty free and this whole damage remedy range is a great one for my hair type and that is it for my beauty empties there are other things I'm sure that I've used that I've just kind of forgotten to put in this bag and that I've put in our normal recycling so this is not everything that I finished in the last few months but I hope that's given you a really good idea as to the products that I use really regularly and that I absolutely love so much so that I've totally finished them off I would love to know what kind of products you regularly finish as well do you have a go-to cleanser or body wash that you're always running out of and totally finishing let me know what your most common empties are in the comments section down below and as always thank you so much for watching I'd love any feedback on other beauty videos that you'd like from me I'm aware I've not done too many lately but I'd love to know what you'd like to see from me so if you enjoyed it please do give it a thumbs up as always everything will be linked down below and if you haven't yet please do hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell on and that is all from me so thank you so much for watching see you in the next one bye Just try to fit in You've got to back just to get